Sometimes someone will create an account with a fresh Google Workspace account and they will just call it admin at mybusiness.com and that's the super administrator account. And then when they create their own email address, that becomes the second account. What's a super administrator account and is it different than an administrator account? So when you sign up for Google Workspace, the first user that you create, which is probably gonna be your account, will be the super administrator account. Sometimes someone will create an account with a fresh Google Workspace account and they will just call it admin at mybusiness.com and that's the super administrator account. And then when they create their own email address, that becomes the second account. Now, sometimes people forget that they created the first account and then they create an account with their name second and they use the account with their name for the next five years and they forget that there's actually a super administrator account in the background with a different name. But I'm gonna assume that's not you. Now, in the administrator panel, you'll see a list of all of your users. So if you log into the admin panel, admin.google.com, and you go to your directory and then to users, you'll see all the users in your account. And you'll see that some of these users are administrators. So we have a set of permissions for users. And there is, I guess, a hierarchy of permissions. So there's a standard user that has just the basic login, right? And they have no permissions above just being a user account. That's just called a standard user. Then we have a series of different administrator roles. Different administrator roles may attach certain privileges to that user account. So let's look at some examples of that. We'll go into the admin panel. And so admin roles are stored under account. So if you go to account and then admin roles, here we go. You can see there's a number of different roles that are here. Effectively, anything above a standard user account is an administrator role of some sort. Now they come with different names. A groups admin will be able to administer groups. A services admin will be able to switch on and off different services. A user admin will be able to reset people's passwords, add and remove users. And these have individual profiles of privileges that you can switch on and switch off, but you can see here that you can get really granular with this if you want to. Now, the only difference between these and the super administrator role is that the super admin role is a special role designated to users, which effectively has every single permission now, but importantly, also in the future as well. So if Google adds any additional privileges, the super administrator is just always gonna have every single permission right across the account. Now, what is possible when you sign up for a Google account is you may have signed up for the super administrator account and given a few other people super administrator accounts as well. Maybe you've got business partners or you know maybe a life partner if you're in business with your spouse, you may have made them a super admin as well. And so most people will have one or two super administrators in the business in active use. Now, that's not best practice. Best practice is to have a second super administrator account that you only use when you need to do administrator actions in your account. And your user account, if you're the business owner, should only be used for the privileges that you need it for on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I would say, okay, maybe give yourself user administrator privilege. So at least you can reset people's passwords without having to log into a different account. But switching on and off licenses, changing account settings, changing policies, changing storage, switching on and off any of the services or security settings. All of those, my recommendation would be to have in a second super administrator account so that, God forbid, somebody gets access to your account, they don't automatically have access to the whole house. If you're using your account in production, it's not a great idea for that to be a super administrator account because that can mean that your account is exposed to risk. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.